Well, a two-year-old who was shot on Friday is now home from the hospital. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us live in Fourth Ward with an update. Domily. Yeah, Caroline, so I'm in this Fourth Ward neighborhood where the shots rang out are calling it a miracle that two-year-old Braylon is still with us after he was shot while simply playing outside. I'm glad he, God kept him and the manger was over him and he came back to us. It's two-year-old Braylon's first full day at home since being shot on Friday here on Gillette Street outside his great-grandmother's home. The angel was over him. Five days later, she's still trying to do what no grandmom should have to, clean a toddler's blood from her porch because he was shot. Never had nothing like this. According to Houston police detectives, more than 40 bullets from two different guns were fired, hitting the family's home over and over and over again, shattering their car window, ripping through the vehicle's trunk, and it all happened while little Braylon was outside playing with his dinosaur. His great-grandma was sitting on the porch with two of Braylon's cousins. Dozens of shots, one shots. after another. It seemed one like it was another. never going to stop. Never going to stop. But we laid there. I laid on top of my aunt and my baby cousin till it was over. Because you wanted to protect them. I wanted to protect them. But Braylon, who wasn't on the porch, was shot twice. Once through his abdomen and his arm. So I picked him up, put him in my lap. And start praying over him, asking the Lord to keep him. Don't let him go. I thank the Lord every day that he made it. I knew he was going to be strong. He died so strong. So I knew he was going to be okay. <laughs> Dinosaur strong and Houston police investigators are looking into whether two groups of people in vehicles driving by were shooting at one another or if two gunmen were in one vehicle and shooting at someone else. But they are coming through surveillance video to try to sort it all out. At this point, Caroline, no one has been arrested. Domily, that's such a sad story and so concerning. How long will it take, do you think, for the little man to fully recover? You know, that little guy took on some very big injuries, taking on two gunshots. But his mom told me this afternoon that he is expected to make a full recovery, and that is absolutely great news. That's amazing. That's not always the ending that we hear to these stories. Domily, thank you.